ഓക്കരതുണ്ട മഹാകായം സൂര്യകോട്ടിസമപ്രഭ നിർവിഘ്നം കുറു മേ ദേവ സർവ്യേഷു സർവദ സരസ്വതി നമസ്തുഭ്യം പരദേ കാമരൂപിണി വിദ്യാരംഭം കരിഷ്യാമി സിദ്ധർഭവത്വേ സദാ സാക്ഷാത്കൃത ദയാനന്ദം പരമാർത്ഥസ്വരൂപിണം തത്വജ്ഞാന പ്രശാസ്താരം പ്രണതോസ്മി പരം പദം വാഗർത്ഥാവിവ സംതൃപ്തൌ വാഗർത്ത പ്രതിപത്തയേ ജഗതഃരോ വന്ദേ പാർവതി പരമേശ്വരോ യേനാക്ഷരസമാം അധികമ്യ മഹേശ്വരാത് കൃഷ്ണം വ്യാകരണം പ്രോക്തം തസ്മൈ പാണിനയേ നമഃ വാക്യകാരം വനരുചി ഭാഷ്യകാരം പതഞ്ജലി പാണിനിം സൂത്രകാരഞ്ച പ്രണതോസ്മി മുനിത്രയം സഹനാഭവതോ സഹനോ ഭുണക്തോ സഹവീര്യം കരവാവഹൈ തേജസ്വിനാവധേതമസ്തുമാവിദ്വിഷാവഹൈ ഓം ശാന്തശാന്തശാന്തി ഓക്കെ we will continue reading practice so <clears throat> we'll call the names from the chat box so those who have not typed the names you can type so i'll start from the first person priya ji you can read you can read the the first line first line but right. yeah others can mute and priya ji can read ഭവാൻ ഞറീദ് ഭവാൻ ഭവാൻ ഓക്കെ ദെൻ ദി നെക്സ്റ്റ് വേർഡ് നിക്കനനം നിക്കനനം യാ സന്താനീഡ് second line second line vimala yeah okay sa kaditavati 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 okay patitum okay patitum 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 okay eke nai A.K. Naiva. A.K. Naiva. Good. And Nalini, you can read this third. Nalini, Nalini is not here today. Fine. Okay. The name is there. You have mentioned it. Okay. Next person. Prabhakar. You can mute now. Santanamji. Next. Prabhakarji, you can read the third line. Yes. Rajanitihi. Rajanitihi. ga o oh, ga jani ti yeah um, bara barat ba barat te shaha good again read the same word ba okay 
ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಫೀಲ್ ಶೈ ವೆನ್ ಯು 
are bound to happen. Doesn't matter. I'm here to correct. So don't feel shy when you read. Yeah. Panasaphalam. Panasaphalam. Tha is Mahaprana. Okay. Panasaphalam. Again. Panasaphalam. Read together. Panasaphalam. Panasaphalam. Yeah. Jackfruit. Panasaphalam means jackfruit. Okay. Next word. Katopanishad. 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 Again. Katopanishad. That to, that sound is to, cerebral. Katopanishad. Katopanishad. Again, louder. Katopanishad. Yeah, but I'm hearing the sound of uh, to, that is a dental. It is not uh, to, it is not to, it is to. Kato. Say again. To. Say, read again the word. Katopanishad. 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 That is the tongue should touch the, the roof. Katopanishad. And yeah. Okay, third word. Anikaranam. 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 Again. Anikaranam. 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 Okay. Next one. Fourth one. Kutuhalam. 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 Good. Okay. Next person now. Ritoji. You can read the next line. Fifth line. Ritoji, you can unmute your mic. Sorry, Sharanji. Namaskar. Welcome back after a long time. <laughs> I know. I know. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Your blessings. Please um, read it. Oh. Uh, ajaru katav, Katavashat. Ajaru, ka, ajaru, kavish, ajaru Katavashat. Again? Ajaru Katavashat. It's not, Ajaru. No, it's not Ajaru. You have to read that there's a ka only. That should not cut the, the vowel there. Ajaruk Tavashat. No, there is no Ajaruk. Ajaruka. Ajaruka Tavashat. Read together. No, no Ajaruka, pause. Ajaruka Tavashat. Ajaruka Tavashat. Ajaruka okay. Tavashat. Next one. Grahapath Lekhanam. Again. Grahapath Lekhanam. It is uh, okay. It is gr, not gra. Okay. Gr, griha. Griha. Mm. Griha is house. Yeah. Griha, griha patha lekhanam. It means writing, writing of homework. <laughs> okay. Homework, right? I thought so. Next one. Shravan <laughs> Again, read again. Shravan Kathoram. Yeah, you're reading Shravan. In the influence is there. It is Shravana only, not Shravan, not Nakara. It is Shravana. Shravana Kathoram. Again? Shravana Kathoram. Shravana Kathoram. You know what does it mean? Uh, hard work. No, horrible to hear. <laughs> no, hard, yeah. Horrible to yeah. No, no, that's a, it's horrible to hear. <laughs> that is the meaning. Horrible to hear, oh. Shravana Katoram. Karna Kadoram, we say in the same thing here. Shravana Katoram. Okay. Oh. Katoram is difficult. Uh, you can say difficult to hear, difficult. or you can just extend the meaning and say horrible. It's difficult to hear. That would be the right meaning. Okay. Okay, next person. Amrita. Amrita Vajanka. You can read the last line. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, we know the Kanikaha. Good. Okay. Mukha Putta Kalakaraya. Very good. Okay. Mano Vinodam. Mano Vinodam. Good. Yes. Next person, Swati Ji, can read the next slide. You can read the two sentences. Now the sentences come. Now we are read, we have so far we have been reading the word by word. Now sentences. Okay, okay. so Swadesin can read. Yeah. One 
Mama Nama Sharanaha. That is my name. What is your name? You can tell. Mama Nama Swatihi. Swatihi. Mama Nama Swatihi. My name is Swati. Then second sentence. Tava Nama Kim. You are asking me what is your name. Tava is is your Nama is name. Kim what? What is your name? Tava the word you can use when you ask when you are asking the name of the person who is younger or equal to your age. If it is with respect, then comes the third line. You can read that also. Bhavataha Nam Kim. Not Nam Nam. 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 Bhavataha Nam Kim. Bhavataha Nam Kim. What is your name? Tava Nam Kim. Bhavataha Nam Kim. Both are same. Have the same meaning. Bhavataha with respect. Addressing, asking a male. If it is female, Bhavatyaha. We will see that later. Anyway. Okay, fine. Good. Next person now. Kirija. Yeah, please read the next two lines. Tava Pituhu Nama Kim. You know the meaning. What is it? What's mean? your father's name? Yeah. Tava Pituhu Nama Kim. Next line. And the second the next line is with a, with respect. Bhavataha Pituhu Nama Kim. Yeah. Bhavataha Pituhu Nama Kim. Good. Next person, Mikalaji. You can read the next two lines. Ariyom, Tava Matuhu Nam Kim. Not Nam, but before that, it is Harihi Om, not Hari Om. Okay. Hari Harihi Om. Hari Om is uh, it's not correct. Harihi Om. Yeah, Ari. When you address someone. Yeah, but it's uh, you should say Arihi Om. Generally, people say Ari Om, Ari Om, but it's not Ari Om. Arihi Om. Okay. okay Arihi now. Om. Yeah. Then, Tava. Hmm. Tava. Matuhu Nama Kim. Good. Nama Kim. Okay. Then second line. Bhavataha Matuhu Nama Nama Kim. You know the meaning now. Yes. Out of respect, respectfully, you are asking, what is your mother's name? Bhavataha. You are asking the, the male person. Bhavataha. Male. Okay. If it is, uh, you are asking a, a girl, then it will be different. We will see that later. Okay. Now the next person. Okay. Manjiriji. You can read the next three. Third line. Third, four, five. Yeah. Pranam Guruji. Bhavan Kim Karoti. Uh, out of respect, we ask, uh, what is that male person doing? What does what, he do? What you? What are you doing? Yeah. Okay. Aham Patami. Aham Patami. I am studying. Okay. And uh, fifth one is Aham Khadami. That is, I am eating. Okay. The meanings are not important. Others don't worry about if you don't know the meaning. I'm just okay. telling you the meaning in case if you are interested, you can note. Meaning and all you will see later. It's only a reading practice. Okay. Next person now. Shruti. Shruti, yes. you, can, you can read it. Yeah, you can read the three lines. Mama <laughs> Pita. Hmm. This is my father. This is my father. Esha Mama Mata. You know, this is my mother. Okay. Then, this is my mother. Esha Mama Patihi. This, is, this my, is my husband. Yes. Okay. Next person. Natraji. You can read the line four and five. Nataraj. Are you there? Sorry, one more try. Uh, yes. Esha Mama Sahodari. Good. And read again. Esha Mama Sahodari. Yes, Sahodari. This is my sister. Sahodari. Esha 
मम सहोदरी एषा मम सहोदरः वेरी गुड दिस इज माय ब्रदर दिस इज माय ब्रदर ओके गुड नाउ द नेक्स्ट पर्सन ब्रदर ओके नेक्स्ट पर्सन कैन रीड नेक्स्ट पर्सन इज parama shivan yeah you can read the three lines 1 2 i am ajaha i again read please again i am ajaha ajaha not ajaha i am ajaha this is a goat ajaha means a goat oh then i i am kajaka gajaha kajaka speed again i am kajaka not gajaha ajaha ga. gajaha not gajaha mr ga is not ga okay i am gajaha ha it's a ha h a ha that sound gajaka i am kajaka i am hearing the sound of gajaha ga the ga sound comes no ga, ga. not oh, ga sorry. it is not ga It is ha ha ajaha gajaha. I am ga ga gajaga. No, again the same mistake. Yes, you know that visarga is, is am, not uh, visarga. Uh, listen to me. Which visarga is? Uh, it's like uh, pronounced like h a ha ha. Just just open your mouth, expeller ha. That's all. Ajaha ha gajaha. Yeah. I am. लता येशा मामा माता दिस इज लता एंड शी इज माय मदर ओके नेक्स्ट पर्सन मंजुला जी यू कैन रीड 4 एंड 5 मंजुला आर यू देयर इस गुरुजी सा वीना यू आर कैन स्विच ऑफ योर वीडियो ओके ओनली माइक can connect to mic okay you can read now after that you can switch off please sa vina sa mama bagini good bagini is sister this is sahodari also that is also mean sister both okay. Ma- mama deshaha mama deshaha bharataha mama deshaha bharataha good then next person okay now uh, we'll s- stop reading for some time i have to introduce another topic or if you can mute your mic and listen this is another topic we are going to see okay you can listen so now <clears throat> we have learned so far vowels consonants and consonant vowel combination with that we with that knowledge we try to read some words and sentences simple sentences and simple words but that alone with that alone we cannot you can read uh, you know any uh, sanskrit text not possible if you just pick up even geeta also it's not easy it's, now with this knowledge it's not possible to read why because we have to learn one another important uh, thing and the important topic is going to be discussed now that is called conjunct consonants so many of the words in sanskritam you will find this conjunct consonant conjunct consonants what is what does it mean what is a conjunct consonant let's see listen carefully conjunct consonants they are called sanyukta vyanjanani already we saw conjunct vowels combination of the sound of two vowels 
you remember we use the sanskrit word sanyukta the same here conjunct is there sanyukta consonants vyanjanani so sanyukta vyanjanani if you can you see the sanskrita word for the conjunct consonants which is the the ending there the first letter is sam second one u what is the third one third one have you seen this uh, form anywhere any does it represent any consonant any of, any of you what is it sam u is there in the ending after that we have not seen that right it's something peculiar uh, letter yes or no anyone can you uh, do you follow me yes yeah we are not seen that yes. it is yeah. something a special yes. form similarly the next uh, the following yes genjanani what is it what is the first one yeah you can see that something is round is there we don't know that right so therefore even the very word sanyukta vyanjanani you cannot read right therefore even to read the name sanyukta vyanjanani we should know conjunct consonant that is what we are going to learn today okay so what does it mean it means two or more consonants two or more consonants come together they come together without any vowel in between no vowel in between one consonant is followed by another consonant with no vowel in between see we know consonant cannot be pronounced independently consonant cannot be pronounced independently consonant with vowel can alone be be pronounced consonant if you try to pronounce it stops at the very place of pronunciation here a consonant is followed by another consonant not only one consonant it can be followed by any number of consonants and at the end you will find a vowel will be there that vowel because of that vowel all the consonants all the preceding consonants which doesn't have any vowel intervening vowel they get the you no know, they get they get the eligibility they get the status of being pronounced so that is called conjunct consonant so in simple words two or more consonants coming together without any vowel inter intervention is called conjunct consonants conjunct consonants they are called conjunct consonants so therefore here see the example what is the first letter kakara kakara plus ka is there what is ka what is the difference between kakara and ka can anyone say the difference between kakara and ka kalanda pure consonant sorry it's a pure consonant ka kakara is kakara is the pure consonant yes whereas ka is the combination of all and ek plus a it should not say ek ka plus a yeah it's a you should not say ek it is the combination of kakara plus a don't say ek okay never use the they you know the word you never address the consonant pure consonant saying uh, adding ek at the beginning no it is kakara right way to address a consonant so kakara the first one in the example the first line the first letter is kakara followed by ka and that ka is a combination of kakara plus a okay so now kakara plus ka it means what kakara plus kakara plus a is it understand kakara plus kakara plus a how it is written now you see how it is written is equal to it is written in uh, any of the way are given two ways in books you will find sometimes both anyway you can write that is 
what the kakara is at the top and below that kakara ka is written in the first one kakara plus ka equals you can see that kakara is at the top and ka that full cons full consonant what i mean by full consonant is consonant with the vowel that's that ka it's at the bottom that is one way of writing this combination or you can write the kakara as as it is shown here followed by ka full ka full ka is written and the first one half ka right the second example you see kakara plus ka is there. so it means what kakara plus kakara plus a is there, the long vowel so it is written the same way as the first one only thing is one vertical stroke is there because it is a long vowel a you understand this any doubt in this no sir no sir is it is it clear so yes so what is the here here what is the uh, the conjunct consonant with the kakara plus kakara between these two are there any vowel no that is called conjunct conjunct consonant right so we will see more examples you will understand and for our understanding i use certain certain terms so that is important you can remember in this taking this example that is kakara plus ka kakara is in yellow color that is a pure consonant followed by ka that is the consonant with the vowel what is that it is kakara plus a so kakara plus ka equals kakara that is which is in yellow color underlined that is a first consonant i am calling it as a first consonant followed by ka which is the combination of kakara plus a that is that kakara is in red color so the kakara which is in yellow color that is a first consonant followed by the kakara which is in red color between these two there is no vowel right therefore this is this is called this the consonants this that such uh, combination of consonants are called conjunct consonants such joining of consonants together without intervening vowels they are called conjunct consonants so kakara plus kakara plus a is there so the a vowel because of the vowel only this uh, this 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 uh, conjunct consonant get the status of being pronounced so now i call the first co pure consonant as the first consonant and i call the kakara which is in red color which is immediately followed by the vowel as the last consonant so remember first consonant and the last consonant i want you to remember the last consonant what i mean by the last consonant is the last consonant in the series of conjunct consonant the series of conjunct consonant the last consonant is followed by the vowel okay for our uh, understanding for our, for my uh, explanation when we are going to see further so i use these terms last consonant so you know note this word last consonant so when i ask you the last consonant in the conjunct consonant you should understand that the last consonant is that which is followed immediately by an vowel okay so a consonant can be followed by any number of consonants in this example only one consonant kakara plus kakara we are going to see the consonant can be followed by any number of consonant and the last consonant will be followed by what the vowel okay so therefore you can see last consonant is that which is followed by the vowel so the consonant which precedes the last consonants they are pure consonants and as a part of conjunct consonant except the last consonant all the preceding consonants they will be written half they will be written half that is what you see in the example kakara plus ka equals that uh, you write k 
ka and another ka below that. That is a ka at kakara at the top. The letter which is at the top is pure consonant, and the letter at the bottom is kakara plus a. That is one way of writing. The other way of writing, you see, where the pure consonant is written off. That is, the first consonant is written off, and the last consonant is written fully because it is followed by the vowel. Understand this? All of you. Yes, Guruji. Yes, Guruji. Any doubt in this? No, no, sir. no. So, no. you think the word is in the, the term last consonant? It means you understand it is followed by the vowel. Okay. So, uh, Guruji, how to pronounce this? Don't worry, you will see. Okay. We will see that later. Yeah. Now you understand the conjunct consonant. So any number of such combinations are possible. So I'm going to give you a list. So you will try to read. Okay. So now from the chat box. Who was the last person who read this? Who was reading? Um, I think uh, Manohar Shanmugam. Did you read? Manohar Ji. No, I didn't read. Okay, now your chance now. You can read the first line. I will help you. First line, yeah. I, will, first line I will read. Now, <laughs> you cannot pronounce a conjunct consonant. Now, later you will be able to pronounce. I want you to read like this. Makara plus Pa. Pa. Is written. Af Makara. You can see half makara I means okay. There's some noise at your end, Banagaji. The noise is there. No, you are too. Oh, okay. Makara plus pa is there. So yeah. I will ask you you answer. Makara plus pa. Which is the first consonant? First is makara. Followed by followed by Makara and vowel A. Okay, good. So Makara plus Pakara plus A. And what is the last consonant? Last is Pakara. Pakara. Why it is last? Why it is called the last consonant? Because it is followed by? The, the Makara. The vowel. vowel. Right? Correct. So therefore, except the last consonant, all the preceding consonants. Here only one consonant is there, which is Makara. Right? Correct. Correct. So what you do is you write half of the preceding consonants. Half means what? Half means when you see a consonant, you remove the vertical stroke. That is called Correct. half. Correct. So removing the vertical stroke, how does it look? You can see there. You can see the combination. That, that is the half consonant. Yes. That half consonant and the makara, they are not different. They are same only. Understand? All of you. The makara and the half consonant, they are same. There is no difference between that. In a conjunct consonant, a pure consonant is written half. Half means what? The vertical stroke in the consonant is removed. Understand? Yes? yes. Okay. Yes. I hope all of you follow me. Yes, Guruji. Okay, second uh, equation you can read, Manoguruji. Sh sh yeah. Shakara plus na. Sh shakara, shakara plus, plus na. na. Yeah. Shakara is the first consonant. Nakara is the second consonant followed by a vowel a. Last consonant. Yes. Nakara, last consonant. Last consonant. Therefore, yes. the first consonant is written half. Uh, it means the vertical stroke is removed. removed. So, yes. you, therefore, shakara plus na is shna. What is that? Shna. Shna. Krishna. You read that? Krishna. That yes. Krishna. The first one is makara plus pa. Mpa. Mpa. It's difficult to read. That is why I skipped that. But now, this one you can read. Shna. Shna. Third one, third line, third equation you can read. Kakara plus la. Kakara is the first consonant. Lakara followed by the vowel a. Good. 
So what is the last consonant? Last consonant is la. Lakara. Lakara plus a. So okay. Yeah. Now, you see how it is written. Kla. It is kla. Very good. It is kla. So here the kakara, kakara, the, the, the pure consonant. Is there is there a vertical stroke there to remove? I mean, half of the consonant to be written. Unlike uh, makara and shakara, makara has got a vertical stroke there. Vertical stroke and nether stroke at the bottom. That you can remove. That you can remove. That represents. That is the the half consonant. I mean, half consonant means the consonant where you can remove the vertical stroke. That is half. The half consonant and the pure consonant. I it's just half consonant. Just a name. Okay. There is no difference between the pure consonant and the half consonant. It is consonant, pure consonant only. So I say half to make you understand. Okay, there is no half or <laughs> nothing like that. Okay, half is only my term I am using to make you understand. Pure consonant and the consonant without the vertical stroke, they are same. In makara and shakara, the vertical stroke is there. Therefore, you can remove it. You can remove it when you when you you can remove in a conjunct uh, consonant. Whereas here in kakara, the vertical stroke you cannot you cannot remove. Therefore, what you do is that first consonant is written at the top, right, and the last consonant at the bottom. So the consonant at the top is a pure consonant, and the consonant at the bottom is the last consonant plus the vowel. Therefore, kla. Therefore, kakara plus la is kla. So wherever whichever consonant has got a vertical stroke. That can that you can remove as a part of the conjunct consonant. When it is not there, then the pure consonant will be at the top, and the last consonant will be at the bottom. Understand? Correct. Yes, all of you. It's not only for monography. I'm asking, and through monography, yes. I'm explaining to you. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, sir. Monography. Then you can read the th second line. Yeah. It is good. Kakara plus makara plus the vowel a. So you pronounce as gakara plus ma is gma. 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 G M A. Gma. Gma. In yeah. gakara, you can see the vertical stroke is there. You can remove that, right? Yes, yes. we are removed that. Simple. Gma. The next one. Yeah, lakara plus yakara plus the vowel a. It is pronounced as lakara plus ya, ilya. Lya. 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 L y a. Lya. 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 Okay. Guruji, one doubt. Yes. Uh, there is difference. There is a difference between uh, this third one and fifth one, no? That's okay. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Why it is not written at the bottom? This is yes, this combination is written like this. You can note this. No, not Guruji. Mm. Uh, actually, uh, just I'm um, comparing with uh, my language uh, Telugu. Uh, uh, the, here we uh, we write. Uh, uh, I'm not. I'm not understanding how. It, Lakara plus ya. What? Okay. What is that? You don't understand. Tell me. Lakara yeah. plus ya is there, yeah, right? Is, uh -huh. Yeah. In third one also, we have to write uh, lakara plus ka. Then we have to write kla. Uh, then we have to say kla, no? Not. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. See, one minute. One minute. I will explain Manjula first. Kakara plus la. There, the first consonant is what? The kakara. first line, the third is the kakara plus la. The first consonant is ka. Therefore, ka is at the top. Now, in the fifth equation, which is the first consonant? Lakara. Lakara. Therefore, it is at the beginning, right? Here also, you can write at the top, and yeah, it can be written at the bottom. But this is how it is written. What's your conclusion? Okay. Both are different. See. Then we have to read this third one. Third one as kla. To read third one as uh. not kla, Guruji. It is ka. Last and first we have to read la. 
No, no, no. First, you have to read ka because the first consonant is kakara. So, therefore, you have to read ka, ka k l a kla. Here also, for the fifth one, the first consonant is lakara. Always the first consonant is pronounced, then the next consonant, right? That is your order. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. I don't know about uh, the Telugu, but this is. Uh, yeah. Guruji, being a Telugu person, I can contribute here if you would permit me. Yeah, please do. Uh, what happens in Telugu is the first consonant takes the full form okay. and the second uh, <laughs> consonant always takes the shorter form. Okay. That's why we always say in full the mm. first one okay. and the second one yes. becomes the lighter sound. It's a valid As doubt, uh, valid doubt, Man, uh, Manjula ji asked. Yeah, yeah, I don't know that. Okay. Yes, yes, Guruji. <laughs> but in Sanskritam, yes. it is uh, like this. Please note, okay. So in Sanskritam, okay. the first consonant is written, is written half and that is pronounced first and then the next consonant. Yeah. Okay. Ritu here. Yeah. I think word, um, it, um, I, I, I feel like contributing this uh, little bit knowledge that I have of Sanskrit, that in Sanskrit, you will always pronounce in the way it is written. Yes, exactly. Yes. There is no, there is no confusion. Like the way, the, whatever comes first has to be pronounced first. That's yes. the way it goes. Yes, yes. As it is written, yeah. so it is pronounced. That is, uh, that's how it, simple. That is, uh, uh, you know, there is no complication in that. So simple. So reading, as it is written, so it should be read. Okay. Okay. Manogar, you can continue the last. Uh, yeah. Sh shakara plus Rakara plus vowel. Oh, it ah. is not Rakara. I told you, remember? It is not Repa. It is Repa. 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 Repa, you're right. It is Repa, important. This is an important note. You right. can say Kakara, Pakara, Shakara, but not Rakara. It is Repa. That is, that is only for uh, this particular letter. Okay. So Shakara plus Repa plus A. Repa plus A is Ra. That is okay. Ra. Right. So you can see now the form. For this, shakara plus ra, it's different. So you can note the form is different from what it is there. It is shakara plus ra is shra. Shra. Shravanam. Shra. That's shra. Right? So shakara plus ra is shra. I think we read this combination before itself. Shravana katoram was there. Somebody read correctly. But that's content consonant. Okay. We read the word, no? Remember? Shravana yes, Katoram. Yes. That Shra is there. I, I, nobody asked what is uh, that letter. <laughs> it is a conjunct consonant. It was there in the beginning. And it was there in the, in the word where only the consonant and the vowel combinations are there. Anyway. That's, uh, you can note this, please. This Shakara plus Ra, the form is like this. Shra. So when you come across this particular form, read it as Shra, Shravanam. Right? Shravanam or Shramaha. Ashramaha. Ashramaha. That's Shra. This is Shra. Okay, next person. Sujataji. You can read the third line. Sujataji. Are you there? Yes, Guruji. I'm here. Yeah. You can read. Okay, I think I need with the first one. Sure, um, shakara plus uh, yakara plus a uh. shakara plus yakara plus a uh. okay. uh, is the vowel uh, yakara is the consonant and uh, shakara is the first consonant so now the first consonant the vertical stroke is removed why? Because shakara followed by yakara. So conjunct. Conjunct a situation. Therefore, <coughs> shakara, the pure consonant, the vertical stroke is removed. You write shya. Shakara plus yakara plus ra is shya. 
Shakara plus Ya is Shya. Right? Yes. Second one. Um, fakara. Not plus. Fa. It is Sha. There is no Fa in Sha. Sha. Shakara plus Bakara plus A. Okay. How do you say, how do you pronounce this? Shwa. 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 Okay. Shwa. Now, third one. Hakara plus Yakara plus A. Okay. I this do not know how to pronounce that. Hakara. Hya. 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 H Y E. Hya. Hya. Hyaha means yesterday in Sanskritam. It is the same letter, same letter with Visarga. Hyaha means yesterday. Padakhyaha, day before yesterday. Praparakhyaha, before that one day. So the, anyway, okay, that, that is all. That's a word. That's a, Hyaha means yesterday. Next yeah. person. Chinni Krishna, you can read the next line, fourth line. <coughs> Yeah, please read. Fourth line. Sir. Yeah. Nakara plus Nakara plus A. N. Yeah, N. Good. Next one. Lakara plus Lakara plus A. La. Yes, La. Okay, good. Next one. Nakara plus Chakara plus A. Incha. Incha. Pancha. It's like that sound. Okay. Good. Next person. Yes, sir. Next person can read. Mira. Mira Lingam. Next line. Mira Ji, are you there? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Sakara plus. Uh... Takara uh, plus A. Takara uh, is the first consonant. Takara is the second consonant, and A is the vowel. Uh, what, what is the first consonant? I'm I, I'm not hearing it properly. Sakara, right? Takara. Uh, it, it is not Chakara. I, I heard Chakara. It's not Chakara. No, it's Sakara, uh, right? Chakara. Sakara plus Sta. Sakara plus ta equals sta. Hastaha. And all comes. Hastaha. Asti. Right? Uh -huh. Okay. The next uh, one. Next equation. Sakara okay. uh, plus yakara plus a. Pya. Pya. Uh -huh. How do you read? Pya. P Y A. Pya. Pya. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The next one. Dakara plus Makara plus A. Yes. How do you read this? Dma. 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 Can, yeah, it's good. Dma, you can see how it is written. It's something that looks uh, some peculiar uh, form. But the Dakara is written and below that Dakara, Ma is there. Don't, <laughs> don't uh, get confused with that form. It's simple form. Da is written and below the Ma is there. That's all. Okay. Understand? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next person, Chayramji. Next one. Next line. Uh, nakara. Nakara plus cha. Nakara Sorry. plus chara plus a is equal to. Uh, ch, I don't know. Yeah. When you read in a, in a word, you would be able to pronounce it. Doesn't matter. Next one, you can read. Vakara. Plus Yakara plus A is equal to Vya. Vya. Vya is good. See, no, Vya. Vya, you see that Vakara, the vertical stroke is removed. That is what? It's, uh, it looks like a circle. Vya, right? The Vya, yeah. the circle at the beginning is nothing but the Vakara. Vakara and this, this circle, like, both are same. There's no difference. That's what I call it as a half consonant. Half or uh, the pure consonant, both are same. That is half consonant is my term, okay. It is not in Sanskrit. I'm just using it to make you understand. Okay, continue. 
Dakara plus da. Yeah. Dakara plus da is da. How it is written, you see. One da is there, and below that, another da is. The form may be look uh, peculiar, but it's nothing but Dakara. Because here there is no vertical stroke to remove from Dakara, right? Therefore, one below the other it is written. Next line. And next person will read. Riyaji, you can read the next line. I mean, I'm reading I mean, from the chat box base. Riyaji, there is a echo in your size. Uh, one second, sir. Yeah, can you read now? Uh, uh, one second, Ji. One second, Ji. Okay. okay. Hello. Yeah, yes, can read. Yes. Nakara plus Makara plus A. Ma. Okay, good. Next one. Um. Dakara plus Nakara plus no. A. Which one you are reading? Oh. Seventh line. The last but one, the second row, second column. Dakara plus Va is a, right? Oh. Yeah. Dakara plus Vakara plus A. Dva. 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 Not Dva. Dva. It is Dakara. Not Dakara. Dha. Dakara plus va, va, dva. Dva, dva. Okay. Yeah, the next one. Takara plus repa plus a. Tra. It is tra. 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 T R A. Takara plus repa is that. That is tra. In that form, you can see how it is written. Tra. That um, tra, yeah, the bottom uh, one stroke is there, right? One vertical stroke and stroke at the top, and uh, that one stroke at the bottom. That you you will see be seeing that that represents a repa. Okay, so when you see other uh, uh, combinations, you understand what I'm saying. I won't be able to write and show you here. So this is tra, the 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 stroke. Uh, to the left of the vertical at the bottom is a, that stroke represents ra, I mean the repa. Okay, anyway, I will show you later. Then but, the next, uh, yeah. Uh, Sharanji, I just have a doubt. Here, yes. that uh, but in all other things, we have the first consonant written as half, right? Yeah. So, is this a special form for this for dra? Dra has got this form, yes. It says we have got a separate form for dra. Like we have uh, the form for Shra, we saw in the uh, second line, last one. There also you see Shra. Shra. And here this shra. is Tra. Right? Tra. Shra, tra. 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 So that Ra will, uh, will be represented by that uh, particular uh, stroke. Uh, on, uh, I'll show it later. I, I will send by maybe the video. I will okay. write and show you. Okay, the next person can read the last line. Santanamji. Can you read the last line? Makara plus Bakara. So that is B Ba only. The Bakara plus Ba. Okay, that's the nether stroke should not be there. It's not a pure consonant. Makara plus Makara ba plus Ba equals Ba. ba. Plus ba. Okay. Then. Chakara plus cha is cha. Cha. Okay. Then the next one. No. Nakara plus hakara is naha. Naha. Okay. No. There is some noise at your at your end. Somebody is talking. Some. Okay, so Nakara plus Ha is Naha. Na. It's difficult to read now, but you will be able to read in a sentence, in a word. We will see that later. So, this is the conjunct consonant. 
and there is uh, a, there is I mean, uh, this uh, combinations possible. Any consonant can combine with the any consonant and can form a conjunct consonant. So we'll be seeing it more and more uh, these combinations, so that you will have clear idea about what it is, and so that you can read any any word. Okay. So now here we can stop. If you have any doubts, you can ask. Anybody has got doubts? Clear, sir. Okay. We will be continuing this, this topic for another two classes. A lot of yeah. lot of combinations are there. We'll go through that. You will have some we'll have clear knowledge. Okay. Right? Then you can uh, start reading any word of Sanskrit. You can you would be able to read. Okay, you can stop here. Om Pur Namada Pur Namidam Pur Nar Pur Namadachate Pur Nasya Pur Namada Yapur Nameva Vashishate Om Shantishantishantihi Hadihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hadihi Om Danyavad Guruji Danyavad Guruji Danyavad Guruji